Hey you guys, different kind of video. Taking you guys on a ride with me to City Trends. We're gonna go inside, walk around, and see what they got. going to go into city trends i was at the doctor's today and i see that um they had some new purses in so that's what i'm gonna go in and look for see what kind of bags they got and also um see if they have any polish okay y'all let's go in i'm a hot sweaty mess but let's go in outfit of the day i'm wearing boys in the hood shirt so I am brand and coat factory and biker shirt I don't know if you guys can see I can all right y'all so i was halfway through making the video when i realized there was music playing in the background i wasn't paying any attention i had my headphones in and i was talking to y'all so i had to cut out all the sound of me talking so i'll probably just do a voiceover um and let you guys know kind of what i was saying or what i was picking up and talking about and stuff like that so yeah i don't want no copyright that sucks i wish they would just take that off but yeah, so I usually go here to pick up my Dove body wash because it's only $2.99, which is a really good price. Um, those were spray lotions that I was looking at. I thought they were like um, antiperspirant deodorant sprays, but they were spray lotions. Um, I did pick up the, I think, coconut and jasmine body wash, and I cannot wait to use it. Okay, so this was the Dove lotion. This was also $2.99. I was thinking about getting it, but I just bought some lotion and I have so many Bath and Body Works, so I put it back. But $2.99 is also the price for the lotion. So I noticed they had that Spa Scriptions. I thought this was Spa Scriptions, but that one is Skin Aid Medics. This one is by Spa Scriptions. It was really big. It has caffeine and mint. It's a firming collagen lotion. And this was only $6.99. It was a really big bottle. Okay, so I was about to keep walking down the aisle when I noticed to my left that they had streaming or filming equipment or selfie light rings that were really cute. This one is like a panda one. It had the remote and it was only $14.99. It was a 10 inch ring light. Um, they have the one I'm going to pick up behind it. The social media selfie light. I think that one was five feet and it was 22 bucks. I might go back and get that because I can use one. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys another one they had. It was really cute. It was a heart. And that one was, I think, $15.99. And each of them had three light settings. So next to the selfie lights, I also spotted um, the lights that everyone is putting around their room or living room TVs. They were only $9.95 for 16.5 feet. And as you can see, it came with the remote also. So they had a bunch of those. As you can see, I spotted the Rihanna Rebel perfume gift set. It came with that perfume, which I have, and it does smell good. And it also came with a really big size um, clutch, which is why the box was so big. I think it was 33, 34 bucks for the whole set.
All right, so next I started to look for the OPI. The only nail polish I seen were these NK nail polish. It was a five piece set for $3.99, but when I picked it up, I was like, OMG, these look so dusty and crusty. They look like they've been here since the store opened. <laughs> so I was not interested in picking up a pack of those. You can actually find those NK polishes at your local beauty supply for $1 each. And I would just rather go there and get a fresh one because those those were obviously old. <laughs> This was another new to me item that I've never seen by Spa Scriptions. It was a pack of five facial treatment masks for only $2.99. I was really tempted to get it because I've never tried anything with hemp in it, but I have so many facial masks, so I went ahead and put it back. <laughs> um, these detox foot pads I'm really interested in as well, but I do have some that I did get from here from City Trends that I haven't tried yet. But once I try them, if I like them, I'm gonna go back. Um, because they had a lot of fun ones like this 20 pack here it was um a value pack for maybe five bucks i think it said it was really cheap for all 20 of those which was a good price so i have to try the ones i have first and then i'll see if i like them This Ellen Tracy Brightening Serum, I was going to get it, but I was dropping everything that I had in my hand. So I set it down to collect my stuff and totally forgot until just now while I'm editing and doing this voiceover. <laughs> it was the only one and I'm thinking about going back tomorrow because it's not far for me and seeing if I can find it because it was only like $3.99 and I've heard a little bit about the Ellen Tracy so I want to give it a try. Um, I was surprised to find those essential oils. It was $3.99 for that first box and I think $6 for the bigger pack behind it. Those rainbow shoes were sparkly glitter shoes and I thought they looked it fun. <laughs> So in this aisle, they had a few makeup palettes. I don't really use them, but I figure some of you watching might. So I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of what they had. The prices were really good on the palettes and they were really pretty shades. surprised to see these Paris Hilton press on or glue on nail sets I didn't get one because my nails can never fit those they're always too skinny my nails are wide I was looking for a price on it and I couldn't find one but she also had these mascara kits and for the same price of the one I think Maybelline that I showed earlier you get three for the price of $3.99 so I picked up the one that I just showed you guys she also had 
a couple more but i like the leopard print one so that's really the main reason i got it <laughs> it was cute so i'm gonna try it out soon and see how well they work So next I'm going to go look at the purses because that is one of the things that I came in to look for. I was looking for the Calvin Klein bags and I didn't see any. Um, they did have a few cute bags. I'm just really picky so I didn't pick any up. But as I was editing the video I noticed a few that I thought was really cute and I was like "Ooh, I should have got that. But I already went back today and it was before I edited this part. <laughs> and had I edited this part first I probably would would have grabbed me a bag or two i'll show you guys which ones i thought was cute here in a second oh and by the way if you're looking for luggage go to city trends their luggage is so cheap the prices on their luggage is really really good they may not be super durable they're very lightweight but i mean they're good for like a quick little trip or you know something like that but that black purse i liked but i didn't like that the letters was on it but that was exactly what i was looking for and I didn't like the gold chain on most of the purses, which is what kept me from picking up the couple that you see me looking at here. I love that one, but I just didn't like the gold chain. y'all this little heart purse is so cute i don't know why i didn't get that i would have got the pink one and i almost want to run back to the store right now and get it but i really like that it was cute um i thought those were cute for little girls i liked it that little teal greenish one right there in the front Y'all, I love me some Mickey Mouse, and I was really tempted to get this. I don't know why I didn't, because now that I'm looking at the video, I love it and want it. It was so cute, and it didn't have a gold chain. I thought that one was really cute, too. It was one of those, like, mini purses. Now I'm headed over to go look at the shoes to see if they had anything cute. The only thing I saw were these slippers. I thought the ones with the pom-poms was really cute, but usually their shoes don't fit me very well. I have a size nine foot, and even if it says nine ten, they still be quite small. I don't really look at the, the clothes much here at City Trends, so this is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed walking around with me. Thank you for watching.